Transversal thoracic plane block for sternal pain control in cardiac surgery and surgery of the anterior chest. My name is Gabor Kiss. Preparation for the transversus thoracic plane block. Equipment. Different sizes of blunt tip echogenic needles as shown on the slide. An ultrasound probe, disinfection, gloves, swabs and local anesthetic with or without adjuvants. Type, concentration and dosage of local anesthetics have not been standardized. Therefore, further studies are needed to provide more data regarding the optimal injectate. Different concentrations of robivacaine have been used in the literature. Robivacaine 0.25%, Robivacaine 0.75%, Robivacaine 0.3% or 0.5%. Bubivacaine 0.25% or Robivacaine 0.25% can be used equally 10 to 20 ml on each side. 20 ml of Levobivacaine 0.3%. 375% can be administered bilaterally. If the patient is of low body weight, less than 40 kg, or if other local anesthetics contribute to the total dose, 10 ml has provided effective analgesia in the past. In summary, whatever drug is used, a patient's weight, type of surgery, location of artery, and risk of vascular puncture should be considered when determining both volume and concentration of local anesthetic. The maximum dose of bubivacaine hydrochloride and robivacaine is 2.5 mg per kilogram of ideal body weight. In addition, hydrodissection of the transversus thoracic plane may relieve entrapment of the terminal branches of the intercoastal nerves therefore adding to the analgesic effect. Adjuvants to local anesthetics Preservative-free dexamethasone 1 to 3 mg on each side has anti-inflammatory properties and limits ectopic discharge in neural membranes. Clonidine allows for prolongation of block via vasoconstriction secondary to hyperpolarization of gated channels but carries a risk of hypotension with higher doses or with intravascular injection. Epinephrine can prolong block duration via vasoconstrictive activity when used with lidocaine and mebivacaine but not robivacaine. It has neurotoxic potential because of vasoconstriction and hypertension and tachycardia should alert to vascular injection. Patients can be positioned either supine or when the block is done awake with their head up to aid with respiratory status if needed. 